Jack taking on the issues of today with soul. Tonight, actor Paul Rudd. New York Times columnist Frank Rich. And from Fleetwood Mac, Lindsay Buckingham. And now, here's your host, DeAndre Cole. I woke up this morning and I got out of bed. Had a big old cup of coffee to clear my head. Telephone rang and you want a chat? Well, sit on down and tell me what up with that. Ooh, yeah. What's up with that? What's up with that? What's up with that? What's up with that? He said, she said, we said, me said, what up with that? Who knew you knew? Say what who do? What up with that? What's up with that? Yeah. Woo! Oh. Woo! Well, well. Thank you all for joining us on What Up With That, where tonight we are going to go deep into some issues. We're going to have a conversation. We're going to get some information. It's going to be a sensation. We're going to feel elation. It's a celebration. It's going to get funky, crunky, donkey, spunky, chunky, donkey, skunky, slap a monkey, tap a monkey, kiss it. What's up with that? What's up with that? Ooh, yeah. What's up with this? And what's up with that? What's up? I said, what's up? What is up with that? You know, I saw Avatar last week, but that blue lady, she needs to put on a bra. Yeah. Now let's get down to business. It is wonderful to have actor Paul Rudd here. Thank you, thank you for having me, DeAndre. No, 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 thank you, Paul. <laughs> now the Oscars are tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Now often we will see the Oscar winners use their thank you speech to make some kind of a political statement. Now as a performer, yourself, do you think that's appropriate? Ah, oh, that's a great question. Um... I think it's up to the individual. Um, I mean, you know, giving an Oscar speech is a pretty big platform. Humongous platform. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, a lot of actors have a genuine passion for certain causes. Passion in action. Yeah, that's right. They've got a, they've got a passion in action. And uh, I think it's cool that they're talking about things that are important. Talking important, yeah. Yeah, yeah you, you got it. You know. Yeah. Cause I got to say, ooh, we. What's up with that? What's up with that? Ooh, we. Oh, what's up with that? What's up with that? Ladies and gentlemen, get ready. Cause you're about to experience the world's greatest, ambidextrous, disco flute player. Here he is, RJ Sizzle. What's up with that? 
What's up with that? What is up with that? What is up with that? What is up with that? You know, I went to Ikea, but I couldn't speak none of the language. Yes! <laughs> well, looks like we're out of time. Uh, I want to thank my guest, the charming Paul Rudd. Yeah. The sexy and the sinister Frank Rich. No, not again. Oh, no. Lizzie Buckingham, man, you have been here like 20 times. I feel terrible. <laughs> Lizzie, man, I made you a promise and I broke it again. You gotta forgive me. Now, don't go, Lizzie. Don't go. Now, that's the last time. This will never happen again. Come on, man. Hey, let me know we cool, Lizzie. Come on now. Let me know we cool. Ah, there you go, Lizzie Buckingham. Man, you my best friend. Until next time, this is DeAndre Cole saying, <clears throat> to talk about education. From the movie Red, Academy Award winners Morgan Freeman and Ernest Borgnine are here. <laughs> and also, I promised my friend Lindsey Buckingham that he could sing a song about literacy. It's gonna be great, Lindsey. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Okay then, now, Mr. Morgan Freeman, you were in a movie about education called Lean On Me. That's right. Well, you played a principal named Joe Clark, who was tough. Is that what our schools are lacking today, toughness? Well, no, I don't think uh, what our schools lack today is toughness. I think what our schools lack today is uh, empowerment. 
the first thing we need. Well, I mean, uh, empowerment begins with the choice of what kind of education you're going to... Well, as I was saying, uh, where it really starts is with a solid family foundation. Family um, foundation. Well, they call it homework because it begins in the home. It begins in the home, yeah. Yeah, well, but some students don't have that solid foundation, you know, so they have nothing to build on. It's very sad. It's so sad, baby, and I got to say, ooh, wee. What's up with that? What's up with that? Ooh, wee. What's up with that? What's up with that? Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna slow this thing on down. Now here, to promote reading, is America's top educational folk experience. Please welcome Doo-Doo Man and Squeaky! about education. I want to thank my guest, Morgan Freeman. <laughs> 93-year-old sex machine, Ernest Borgnine. Yes, sir! But before we go, Lizzie Buckingham, we're going to have to cut your song. <laughs> and I'm sorry, Lindsay. Now, come on, Lindsay. Don't be like that. Come on now. Nah, there you go, Lindsay. There you go, you're my best friend. Well, the only thing left to say is, hey, 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 hey. Ooh, yeah. What's up with that? What's up with that? Tribute to Hollywood, screen legend, Robert 
us on What Up With That, where tonight we will salute Hollywood. We're going to talk about films. We're going to talk about features. We're going to talk about preachers, cinema teachers. We're going to talk about sequels, prequels, squeakles, eagles, beagles, seagulls, peoples, weasels. Is up with that. Now, if you go to the movies, don't get too much liquid butter. Yes, because it's nasty. <laughs> All righty. Well, I am honored to have so many wonderful guests tonight. Robert De Niro is here. Hello, Dandre. <laughs> Robin Williams is here. Thank you. Thank you. It's amazing. Thank, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and my friend, Lindsey Buckingham, who agreed to come here on his birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Uh, Lindsey, I don't want to speak too soon, but we might have a little surprise for you later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, now, Robert De Niro, you have been in so many classic movies. Why don't you tell us how you got started? Oh, sure, Dondre. I mean, I've been doing this a long time. I, you know, the first time I, I worked with Marty Scorsese was in Mean Streets. Uh, it was... What's that? I don't know. <laughs> well, okay, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to speak, so, you know, okay? So, so when, anyway, when I did Mean Streets, uh, there it is again. What, what, am I crazy? What is this? Mm. Yeah, it's, it's real. I hear it. It's rude. Yeah, it's, rude. <laughs> it's rude. It's rude. It's rude. It's a little rude. Yeah, yeah. real rude. Yeah. You know, you know what? We're done. We're done. I'm not going to say another word. <laughs> Uncomfortable silence. <laughs> Oh, no, you don't. This is wrong. This is disrespectful. Oh, come on, everybody's trusting you. You're being disrespectful. I'm being disrespectful. And I'm violating his trust, yeah. Oh, this is no good. It's plain and simple. This is no good. It's no good, baby. And I got to say, ooh, wee. What's up with that? What's up with that? Ooh, wee. What's up with that? What's up with that? Buckle your dance belts for the Duchess of Surprise, Shasta Taffy! I saw you tonight in my movie dream. I saw you holding hands with Chaplin and Doug Redman. Watch me dance in my movie dream. Watch me dance the night away with Rambo. In my movie in my movie, in my movie, you are the DVD extras. Thank you, Shasta Cafe. What's up with that? What's up with that? Ooh -wee. What's up with that? What's up with that? Ladies and gentlemen, from the Godzilla franchise, please welcome Mafra. Go my group, go my group, you a mop, you a mop, you big, cross the city, you can eat it. Don't get too close to the porch light, don't get too close to the porch light. Stay away from the porch light, stay away from the porch light. Ooh -wee. What's up with that? What's up with that? Ooh -wee. What's up with that? What's up with that? What's up? What is up? What's up with that? What is up with that? What is up with that? Now, if the movie floor is too sticky, don't ask no questions. Because odds are you don't want to know. Yeah! Woo! 
Well, we're out of time. I want to thank my guest, the prickly Mr. Robert De Niro. You messed up. <laughs> the adorable and naughty Robin Williams. Thank you. I'm just tweeting what a great time I didn't have. <laughs> and, oh no, not on your birthday. Lindsey Buckingham, I feel terrible. <laughs> yeah, look, Lindsey. Look, I, I got you a present. Look. It's a, it's a picture of both of us, Lindsey. <laughs> Do you love it? Do you love it, Lindsey? Tell me you love it. Ah, there you go. I knew you loved it, Lindsey. Happy birthday, man. You want some cake? Well, I guess we should have got some. Hey, 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 hey! Ooh, wee. What's up with that? What's up with that? What's up with that? What's up with that?